Hi there, I'm Sai, and in front of me I have two body fat or body composition scales. On the left side, or my left, I have the Renfo body composition scale, and on the right side, I have the Apex Etex City Smart Scale. You can go ahead and take a look at the actual scales here. They both look really nice. We're gonna be comparing them to each other. They are both top selling scales. That should just be noted. That is why I got them both to compare both of them to see which one's better and what they can do. Here is the box for the Etex City scale and the box for the Renfo scale. They both read multiple body metrics. This one here shows on the box multiple body metrics that can be read, whereas this one doesn't really show it on the box. You have to go into the app to see it. So one of the main differences between these two scales is, is is that this one you can actually see many of your body metrics on the scale this one you have to have the app open to see which we'll be taking a look at here in just a minute that being said this one also uses an app so it records the data inside the app and both apps can be synced with other apps maybe not all fitness apps but my fitness pal and some others including Apple health for example on Apple both scales come with quick start guides the Renfo and the eTech city and with QR codes that you can scan with your open phone in order to go to the website or to the place where you would download your app, which is very simple and straightforward. Multiple users can be added to both of these scales and how that works is as many people as you want to can have the app on their phone and use each one of these scales. One is the Renfo app and the other is called the VSync app, the one that goes with the eTech City, but you will have to have Bluetooth turned off for other users when you are in close proximity to them when you want to read your own body metrics. So those are some of the basics. Let's go ahead and look at the scales next to each other and talk about a few more details. One thing I forgot to mention is the eTech City scale here on the right does have a USB charger, so that's kind of nice. And the uh, Renfo scale does come with three AAA batteries, so you won't have to get batteries to use it the first time. So let's go ahead and get a close-up look. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got the Renfo scale on the left, and I've got the Etech City scale on the right. So let's just go ahead and see if their weights are showing similar weights, first of all. Okay, and so 175.8, or somewhere around there, it's bouncing around because I'm moving to get closer. 175.3, something like that, and... 177.6, so it looks like I'm weighing a couple pounds heavier on the Renfo scale, which is interesting. I did go ahead and recalibrate these scales. So how to recalibrate them? You just step on, step off, see it says calibrate, and then I step back on. And now you can see it says 174.8 pounds, so that is probably my actual body weight right now. And so now, you do the same type of calibration with the eTech City scale. Step on, and as soon as it shows up, you get off, wait till it returns to zero, step back on, and now you can see I also weigh 174.8 on this scale. So it seems that the eTech City and the Renfo scale do wo both weigh me at exactly the same weight. But here's what I wanted to point out. If I switch between users on the eTech City scale, you're going to see a different body fat percentage measured for me at the same height and the same weight. What is important about this is, is that based upon your age and about your athlete mode, which you can set inside your apps, it's going to give you a different body fat percentage. So the bioelectrical impedance gives an estimate, but you can also change that estimate based upon your age and based upon your whether you're in athletic mode or not. And I would say that if you're a fairly athletic person, that the body fat percentage that it gives based upon the athlete mode is gonna probably be closer to what you really are. But you can try both athlete mode and non-athlete mode to see how much your body fat percentage changes and then decide how close you think you are to one or the other based on what you may have already seen in past measurements. One way or another, you can use that body fat percentage that you do choose as a reference to see whether you go up or down. And I even recommend just completely resetting yourself every once in a while as a new user to get a more accurate body fat percentage reading. And so you can see there's something going on here. I'll just go ahead and show you this. So one of the things that is maybe a little more tricky is if you have multiple users of the same weight on the eTech City scale, 
then you will switch between users by tapping your foot and it works we'll go ahead and just do that I guess now so you can see what I mean I step on the scale it is going to start to read my body metrics in a minute here and then it's going to offer me a choice of users and I'll show you what I do it's going to tap my foot so and that will switch users so you can see now I switch to Psi 4 and uh, that's how you switch from one user to another and then it's going to show me my body metrics here in just a second you'll see it looks like I'm at 14.4% body fat according to this specific scale and the way that I have it set up. And uh, then that's my pulse. It looks like it's going a little fast right now. And then you can read the rest of the body metrics inside the app. Now, this scale here, the disadvantage is, is that it only reads the weight as long as you're on the scale. So we have to have the app open which I'm gonna show you in just a minute how that works. So to be clear, both scales use a technology called bioelectrical impedance, and that sends a small amount of electricity that you can't actually feel up through your body, through your bare feet, which you do need to be barefoot when you step on these scales to read your body fat. And when that current goes through your body, it measures resistance, then estimates your body fat percentage based upon that resistance. So all things considered, when you're on these scales, you will have to have your foot feet clearly on both sides of the scale for them to work right. And they need to be kind of in the middle of the scale in order for them to be touching both places they need to be touching. And it's the same for both scales. This one's very clear because it has the four pads there. So you wanna just have your feet placed where they're on both of those pads. So now let's go ahead and look at the Renfo scale and how it shows your body composition metrics inside the app. I'm gonna jump on the scale while I'm in the app so you can see what happens here. Jumping on the scale and it's measuring me. And there you can see my measurements and it looks like I'm 14.5% body fat according to this scale. And you can see the other measurements there. Also, you do have your body metrics and many of them inside your eTech City scale as well in the app, which is the VSync app for the eTech City and then the Renfo app for the Renfo scale. So this is what it looks like inside the VSync app, which is for the eTech City scale. This is where you can see your body composition metrics. So let's go ahead and sum up the Renfo scale versus the eTech City scale, what the good and the bad are, what I like about each of them, and what I don't like. So let's start with the Renfo scale. What I like about the Renfo scale is, is that it's very straightforward. It's easy to use. Switching between users is not a problem. You just do it inside the app. It's very straightforward. You just switch from one user to another. So I really like that about the Renfo scale. I also like the display. Everything is just very easy to use. What I really don't like about the Renfo scale is that you can't actually see any of your body metrics besides your weight on the actual scale when you weigh yourself. You have to have the app to use it. And so I'd say that that's the main downside of the Renfo scale. And this could change, but the Renfo scale is less expensive than the eTech City at this time. Going to the eTech City, this one has a lot to like about it, but what I don't like about it is switching from one user to another user takes a little getting used to. You have to tap your foot just one time to switch between users of similar weight, and that takes a little getting used to. So that was one of the things that I didn't like about it. Also, it was working fine when I got it, but when I used it several times, then at some point I couldn't switch between users with my tap. So I had to reset the scale, which you can do by pushing a safety pin inside this little hole that's next to where the charger is on the scale. And I also deleted one user and re-added the user and then it worked fine again so I'm not sure why that happened exactly but that was one of the things that I did not like about this scale as well. Overall the eTech City scale is very pretty. It measures your body composition inside the app and on the scale for some of the metrics which I like which you can just see instantly that's kind of nice. That's pretty much the basics of both the scales. If I was to choose between these scales it would be a difficult choice. I might choose the Renfo scale just because of the ease of use but I do like this scale in a lot of ways and it does read your body metrics on the scale which I like so it would be a tough call for me really but if it was just about which one is more expensive then you might want to go with the Renfo scale so that's the basics of the eTech City scale and the Renfo scale I like them both I hope this video review was informative and helpful I hope you liked it if you did please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and share this video with others and I'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching